I get why religious people always pretend that morality is fundamentally different than every other field of study, but I've never understood why atheists are so willing to play along with them. Right? Like when Christians say, well, if you don't believe in God, where do you get your morals from? That's not substantively different than asking if you don't believe in God, where do you get your pickles from? Right? God made all things, pickles and morals alike, and both are equally in need of explanation when you shift from a theistic to an atheistic worldview, and yet we treat the one as different. Why? And the religious apologists would argue that the difference here is that like one could theoretically derive morals from a God even if that God didn't exist. Belief in this case would be sufficient, but to think that one can derive their morals from such simplistic bullshit is a grave disservice to moral philosophy. Right, like, don't do that or God will melt you when you die is the fucking moral equivalent of geocentrism. But, of course, religious people can't admit that because they literally can't admit that our morality has advanced at all in 2,000 years. At least the Christian ones, right? It fucks up their whole notion about Jesus being the perfect moral teacher. So they have to maintain this delusion that humans aren't more moral now than they were centuries and even millennia ago, even though you can literally observe the advance in the span of a single human life. Right? The evidence to the contrary is overwhelming and might be best exemplified by their own fucking book. Of course, we're used to fucking religious people holding the belief in spite of overwhelming contradictory evidence. That's a prerequisite. But I've seen plenty of atheists who do the same thing. They look at the Bible and they're like, wow, how could anyone ever have mistaken this as for a book of morals or even a moral book as though the study of morals hadn't advanced about as much in the last 2000 years as the study of physics, right? Or astronomy. Now, in a sense, moral philosophy is a victim of its own success because it's so vital to the proper functioning of our or any society. It gets an educational primacy afforded in no other field of study, right? Because like, <laughs> We're not going to put you in jail for fucking up physics, no matter how bad you fuck it up. So by the time you're old enough to form full sentences, you've already been inundated with moral philosophy. You've been spoon fed it through every medium. By the time a kid reaches puberty in the modern world, they've spent thousands of hours on this subject through their stories, their comics, their movies, their video games, their schoolwork, their music, and of course, their actual day to day navigation of the world. By the time most of us learn that moral philosophy is even a thing, we are steeped in it. And that leads many of us to think that it's innate. And, and sure, this is kind of like the way that we look back and laugh at all those ignoramuses who thought the sun revolved around the earth as though we would have puzzled it out if only we had a chance to tackle the problem before Copernicus. Or, or, or the way we all seem to think that, it, you know, every invention is obvious once someone else went to the trouble of inventing it. But it goes deeper than that because our culture, especially the religious aspects of it, are actively selling the fiction that your morals are written onto your heart by the hand of God Almighty. Nobody has a vested financial interest in convincing you that you know, you and Galileo are intellectually interchangeable. Now, as atheists, we're often inclined to defend the dubious notion that morality is innate, right? I, I'm sure I've done it on this show myself. And to a certain extent, that's correct, right? A lot of pretty simple animals exhibit morality, but basic shit like, you know, reciprocity and not eating your neighbor's young are a long fucking ways from what we humans do when we evaluate something ethically. And like any other field of study, it's advanced continuously since about the Enlightenment. And that matters for a lot of reasons beyond academic accuracy, right? Consider how hard it is to believe that we as a society, as a species, can improve ethically if you think that morals are innate. Again, there is copious evidence that this is not the case. I'm 44 years old and I've seen us advance. Our, our understanding of shit like corporal punishment and bullying is enough to make the systems I grew up under seem barbaric. Our understanding of things like gay and trans rights, while by no means perfect, are orders of magnitude better now than they were when I was a kid. And sure, not everybody is on board with these advancements, but we still haven't convinced everybody that the Earth orbits the sun. That hasn't stopped us from walking on the moon, right? But this error doesn't just fail on a societal level. On an individual level, it forgives our obligation to learn. Most of us think of ourselves as being pretty moral. We have our moral failings, sure, but we try to improve them. And this view of morals as like prepackaged software leaves us believing that we can both recognize and overcome all of our moral failings without ever bothering to learn anything from an outside source. 
We have everything we need to achieve moral perfection built in. Virtually all of us could benefit from studying moral philosophy and getting expert perspective on all the latest and greatest and cutting edge ethics. And yet even many rational people dedicated to self-improvement don't bother to drill down on this subject at all. See, the real root of all of this is the same, whether you're religious or not. It's arrogance. Morality is quite literally the way we measure one another. It's so fundamental to our being that to say someone is a good or bad person is a reference to their ethical behavior. According to our linguistic conventions, being good at being a person is a question of one's morality. Given that, you know, it, it's kind of hard to admit that maybe you don't know all there is to know on the subject. Look, if you spend your life thinking about physics, you might hit on some of the fundamental concepts that define our modern understanding on the subject, but that would be a huge fucking waste of time when they're already written down for you to read somewhere. And when you consider how much more important it is that we as a society get better at morals than it is that we get better at physics, one might argue that you're downright obligated to.